have paper, yeah. It, it's, it's our time. Our have um, my name is Randy Abreu. I'm policy director. It's our time. Unfortunately, One the congresswoman's schedule didn't allow for it, but she wishes she could be here with all of you. And on behalf yeah, of ABC, I'd like to thank you for being here and for offering us this opportunity. Um, okay, so right now I'm in a... For helping pave the way and get Alexandria elected to Congress in 2018. And I'm actually in a Zoom meeting, so I'll share that with you guys. What, what I saw happen was when Alexandria came to Congress in the middle of the year, there was a historic shift in Washington, D.C., um, there was her presence in the nation's capital allowed other members of Congress. I'm trying to see who this is talking. You know, like, like she was paving a bigger path to allow for us to push for these policies that we already agree with. Yo, so one love. We're here live, and I'm about to speak to the. Um, thank you for, for allowing this history to happen. To and, uh, and the. the Congressman lesbian and gay democratic uh, queens right now. Is this is a rep for AOC speaking right now. Pushing this initiative to, to highlight the need for non-discriminatory donation. And, um, and today, um, you know, Friday, it's been very uh, interesting. Uh, There's several members of Congress, several city council members, several assembly members that are and I think all looking all to get this club's endorsement. Story where I share this information with my best friend that are in this meeting. Queens is a a sizable part, portion of my district. So I'm so excited to have a chance to speak right now uh, to the club and to share the idea that I have to say. Um, I'm super fired up. Being inclusive and engaging all communities, we're able to be all sides. I'm super fired up. So this is going to be exciting. You guys are going to watch me give a speech live. Also, last year in Congress, um, first year Congress, ALC went head on with CEO Gilead, took on Big Pharma. Uh, thanks to the pressure that was put on by the outside community. So this is a rep. If you're just tuning in, this is the rep for AOC. Everyone else looks like a lot of people are here. They said she was too busy. Um, I think AOC and my district are, are almost close. They're a little far away, but they're both in Queens. So we're about to speak right now. Uh, I, I'm going to probably speak shortly. Y'all know me. Y'all know I don't like to play. Y'all yeah, know I don't like to joke, so... Two favorite when I go, I'm going to go in. I'm also going to change my video. Um, but I'm going to go in. There's so much going on right now. I got to see for the people that don't get spoken for. So far in this time. You know what I'm saying? The congresswoman at her directive. And like, there's a lot of people that aren't spoken for. And that the fact that I have this opportunity. I'm actually going to stand up and speak for them at this meeting. This is what happening right now live in New York. Business owners and seniors in the community. Over 3,000 bags of food have been delivered. We made up over hundreds of thousands of phone calls in the community to check up on folks, see how they're doing. This is all in her direction, how she took her campaign away from this electoral goal and was like, we got to focus on the community. So we've also seen that firsthand. And I'm uh, thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for your support. Interesting. So, and the thing is, we're the what they call the underdog. You know, we're a, what a lot of people want to call the underdog. Um, we have a question. I remember. Um, and MC uh, has been endorsing races outside of New York. I love outside of New York. Uh, we need her leadership here to ensure. I love it so much because this gives us an opportunity to just share. In the truth, share the truth, how we feel. Yeah, I believe so. So I lost you for a little bit at the beginning. And then you asked right now. And then, uh, <laughs> paper, yeah. Have been endorsing races outside of New York. Um, let's see. To ensure that our district keeps moving forward. Will she be active in endorsing in Let's see. Are we even live on Instagram? Yes. She will. Yes, absolutely. I think and she's listening to the, the community and the input that's being put out. She's, she's noticing everything that's going on, obviously. And and she wants to, to see New York have this, this nice okay. wave of progressive policies become uh, something that's standard because it's what a lot of people agree with. 
So yeah, I think you could expect to see her make some moves in, in New York local elections this year. Okay, thank you very much. Um, we'll allow for another question. We're turning up right now. Someone has one. Uh, Do you guys see my video? The Congresswoman has been one of the first rep reps to highlight that reproductive justice is a trans issue too. Has any other candidate been that intersectional? Yeah, this is live. I can't speak for all candidates, but I can speak to... So like, this I, is live right now. Um, for, I'll show you everybody that's there. It's intersectional to make sure you check with the community, check with the stakeholders. It is so this is currently say. live. Um, I'm well, here. How do these you can see me up in the top she left can't corner. She everywhere at once, if you understand that. And as her team, I think but, it takes um, some direction for her. Engage community. Caruso Cabrera, who's also a challenger, right next to AOC's rep. So we're about to get it going. We're about to get it started. Actually, take a photo. In Washington, D.C. So I think uh, it's, I'm gonna say it's, it's so very bright. intersectional. I haven't seen too many other members here. And I wouldn't speak for the candidates. Okay. Thank you very much, Randy. We appreciate that. And uh, please give our regards to that Congresswoman. Um, we appreciate that you sent you to represent her. So thank you for that. Um, we will uh, move on. Um, so, uh, Senators, did this he will not divide us exactly. I know that we're going to jump around a little bit uh, in light of uh, some time constraints. Uh, Senator, he will uh, not divide us. Had some constraints, so if you'd like to speak now, uh, the floor is yours. Um, exactly, he will not divide us. So, and if not, then we we're happy to come back to you. I'm just really ready to go. Zoom on your computer. Yeah, that's also the issue. A lot of these older politicians have no idea how to use anything internet related. So it causes a lot of issues. And this is these are the same ones that are regulating our internet, <laughs> that are regulating our social media. Thank you so much for your patience. Uh, floor is yours. It's just crazy. Uh, we'll get to present, and then we'll have uh, a couple of questions for you. Y'all ready? Okay. Uh, first of all, thank you, Michael, and uh, Danny, and Gary, and everybody. Uh, uh, the good news is, and we certainly need good news, I have no opponent, uh, but I look forward to each year meeting with uh, the members of the club. And in fact... Uh, so, yeah. Uh, one of the big issues today has been the um, repeal of Section uh, 50A, uh, which exempts uh, the uniform services. From so, the, so this uh, is exactly why I'm having involved. Having their personal records foiled, and I'm a co-sponsor of that bill, uh, and I have returned. Uh, this is exactly why. Um, that Can you hear me? Yes, I'm just going to ask everyone who's not speaking to please mute, mute yourself. Uh, Senator, I'm sorry, continue. That's right. Uh, and I'm returning the $1,000 contribution I received from the police. I'm going, not returning it, I'm going to uh, donate it. Uh, but there are a number of issues Oops, that I, I know I must have unmuted important. myself by accident. Um, when I was, when I came before your club in the church uh, two years ago, I was asked the question about conversion therapy and uh, the ban, and I'm proud to say that. Uh, that okay, I turned that down. So yeah. Well. I reported out of the Higher Education Committee uh, in uh, January uh, of last year because I think what these the issues heck? are important. And I chair the Higher Ed Committee. Okay, let me fix my video. Sorry, guys, there's a lot of things going on here. Um, yeah, they could hear me. So you guys saw that blunder. I appreciate your support over the years. Consider the issue of bullying as friends, and I certainly appreciate your endorsement. I'm really ready to speak because I want to speak for those who. You know, let haven't been spoken for. for. Uh, any questions? Let me uh, let me call my. Uh, my guy. Uh, do you have any questions? Tio, so we can go live. 
seconds. Yes. Could could you send us live on IG and Twitch? Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, I'm in the bathroom right now. Oh, okay. I didn't know you were in the bathroom. My bad. No, I, I left because I have a busy day. They, they, they started again. Yeah, I sent you the link a, a little while ago. Oh, okay, let me look at it. Okay. How long before you go? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, as soon as they finish in the bathroom, I'll go over there. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. Forward. Um, I'm going to have uh, Joey uh, De Jesus, who has been waiting patiently, um, who is running for assembly. Uh, and uh, Joey, I don't know if you were here for uh, the grand rules. So with that, uh, further ado, you have the floor. So, part of it is I'm watching meetings. So I, I'm sorry if it gets too boring, guys. And adjunct lecturer at the MCC, and I'm running for State Assembly District 38 against Mike Miller, um, a notorious homophobe voted against marriage equality and um, votes against reproductive rights. Um, when I call my neighbors, what I say is that I'm the only. Uh, anti-racist in this race, candidate who's avowedly pro-black, um, avowedly pro-trans. I'm the only candidate for state assembly um, this election cycle. Um, I'm, I'm under the mere Holmes guarantee, and I'm proud to have signed that. So I'm, I'm just watching this. I'm sitting back and watching it, so I'm getting ready to speak. Maybe I should put a. Um, I believe, let me see. I believe ultimately in the uh, decommodification of the land. I'm about to give a speech too, so I hope everyone's ready. I'm about to give a speech. Um, I believe in uh, tuition free public education, especially as an educator at CUNY, and I believe in um, decriminalization of sex work. I, unlike my opponents, like refuse money from war profiteers. This speech is about to be so good. Um, because we're about to talk about the, the same thing we always talk about. The MIT for months, um, uh, you know, kind of spreading love. love. Also, how funny is it when I'm talking about how current politicians don't know how to use the internet and Zoom that I'm unmute myself and everyone hears me? Uh, Joey? We just got all got a citywide curfew. Um, Joey, you're on mute. Yeah, we all got a citywide curfew for NYC just right then. Uh, for tonight, it's six one to six two. So you're not on mute, actually. It's so strange. Essential workers exempted. This is all very you weird. Hear me? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Thank you. Yeah, there was an emergency alert. I think that that. Uh, okay, here we go. Joe. Okay, I'm ready for the speech. Joey, I can see you. I can't hear you. Uh, so why don't you why don't you uh, log off and try to get back come back into Zoom. People are chatting me to say they can't hear me. I think what happened, Michael, is after they got the emergency alert, they, they lost their connection. Okay. Yeah. Right, yeah. I think it's, yeah. For folks who are having difficulty, I'm going to chat it in the chat. Michael? Yes. Michael? It's David Webb. I just got in. Okay, guys, okay. so I'm going to. Uh, we, 
So it's been a comedy of errors this evening. We had an emergency alert that I disrupted a meeting. Um, we're in the middle of a presentation now. Um, but you know, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll this is all sure very crazy. Your patience. Uh, Not a problem. Thank, thank you. you so much. Joey, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, but we can hear you. So I'm so sorry. Please continue. A lot is getting crazy did right now. Did I lose you? Where did I don't even know where I lost you. Uh, we're talking about this. I heard you say you support uh, sex work. Uh, yes, yeah, this is a wild time right now. I think you kind of cut off right after that. I'm okay, I'm so sitting here and I'm being interestingly that. quiet because you know candidate in this race to. Uh, people are speaking and I'm trying to listen. And, um, I also don't want to over show uh, my face. Senator uh, Rivera's, um, uh, New York in fact, I just turned off my video for a little bit on there so I can just talk to y'all and be open about that. Ha, <laughs> paper, yeah. It's our time. Ha, <laughs> paper, yeah. It's our time. What's good? It's your boy, Paper Boy Prince. Um, ours is a discipline. I'm running for Congress Majority right here. It's New York District is crazy. Right now, there's a alert going out across New York City, basically saying there's, there's quite. I'm, I'm by far the most progressive candidate in this race. Um, uh, yeah, I can keep just sort of. Like I'm listening to so basically, there's a meeting going on as well beliefs, but that I'm about to begin. And then to meet endorsement meetings are basically where. Okay, um, much, different clubs endorse candidates for races, and they, you get a three-minute uh, speech in this endorsement meeting. It's being done via Zoom because of everything with coronavirus, everything with everything else going on. So um, I'm super excited to you know speak at this meeting. It's the Lesbian and Gay Democratic Club. Uh, the best candidate and I appreciate their invite. Uh, but you know, I'm about to spread love. I'm about to turn up and spread love. Uh, voted against marriage equality. That's the incumbent. Okay. The second of my opponents has lived the district about a year, just about a year. She moved here after losing her assembly race in '86. <laughs> but um, you know, right now is the time, though. You know, I do not have the means to to district the search of victory. Right. Um, so there's that, right? I am, um, additionally, because of that, right, I have longstanding ties to my community here as a member of the Union, also as a queer poet and um, literary activist who's championed um, now literary stars for the past decade. Um, so, you know, I've been involved in community. Yeah, so I'm reading, I'm reading tweets. Somebody's like, I just can't with Paperboy. I tried, da, 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 da. So, It's funny, you know? Um, very long. I, um, the thing is, at first, running on value, at first, um, people are alone, afraid. The they don't know what to think. At first, they don't know what to think. Then, once you're spreading love, then once you're actually fighting for what's right, when you're right again and again and again, that's when people start to take notice. So, for me, again, us being doubted, us being controversial, is is working to our favor because we're spreading love, and you know, a lot of people don't know what to make of that. And then lies. We did, I did a, a candidate um, forum with her where she just lied yeah. about where the money was coming from. So, and me personally, I don't care. I don't care. They said, um, billionaires that raised me up. I'm going to speak truth to power and I'm going to fight for you. Murderers of black people around the world, right? So, I'm the only anti racist in this campaign. My campaign has been. I have been calling for the measures that we needed to survive the catastrophe that has befallen our people here since before the catastrophe struck, right? Repeal 50A, yeah, been calling for that. My opponents marginalized me and sort of tried to portray Y'all are ready for this speech. I hope y'all are ready. For calling for the deepening of the NYPD. And look at where we are now. I hope y'all are ready. Where we are now. So I have the intuition to properly- Because I'm about to start spreading love. You know? I'm just waiting. Fervor. I have the, I've inherited Larry Kramer's righteous fury, is what I say. That's what I say. Thank you. Uh, uh, last question is, what experience do you have in the community? Uh, yes. So I hope y'all are ready. I'm a member of the Bridgewood Tenant Union, so I've been fighting 
um, with your consent are to you to organize tenants um, when it comes to know your rights. Um, I hope you all already. And I'm going straight off the cuff. I'm not reading off the notes. I'm not doing that. I'm going straight off the cuff. I was at the protest yesterday. I was for the fight. Neighbors, uh, which both you know, both of my opponents actually rallied alongside this person um, to uh, call for fire. Like, um, so yeah, uh, so many people don't care. They pretend like they care. They don't care. I don't know many of these candidates. I haven't. So a, a lot of them I do actually, but as far as everything about them, I don't. But right now, people, people of color, right? My, my campaign is entirely queer, right? So, um, yeah, so, yeah, that's- I hope y'all are ready. Richard Mutual Aid Network, um, those are things that I've been doing while sick with COVID, mind you. I was very ill with COVID. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Thank you for taking the time for being with us. I hope, I hope y'all are ready. I'm so ready. better physically and- um, I would, and thank you. For, and with that, we we'll move on. Thank you for time. I turned my video back on. Uh, so next on our list, we have uh, Senator Jessica Ramos. Uh, Senator, you have the floor. Thank you, thank you, Michael. Let's good see who this see is. You and good to see many of you. Although a handful of you, I got to see over the weekend. Um, I mean, I think in many ways, preaching the choir here, but. We know how difficult the last few days have been, and we know how difficult the last few weeks and months have been. Um, and I think that when we look at how all of these issues converge into our community, and specifically for those of here in Northwestern Queens, where we just have so much diversity from all different perspectives. This is a lot. We really can have an Sorry, guys. I know these things are really boring. I, I, you know, I want to make it more exciting. Maybe I'll just turn off my video. I'll, what I'll do is I'll turn off my video in these meetings and I'll just do what I do over here, baby. Yeah. Ha, <laughs> paper. Yeah. I'll be honest with you guys. I'm actually really tired today. Um, I'm I'm actually like tired. It's been a long day, long weekend. I I was supposed to speak at seven thirty. Now it's eight thirty, and that's fine. I'm so excited to be here. I throw shows, but we run late, so I completely understand. I'm just anxious. Uh, where I stand on these issues. Um, to me, it's a grave exacerbation of the trauma that our community has already done. I'm just so excited for when I give this speech. It's like, it's going to be such a stark contrast to everything that's being said here. Um, a very stark contrast. Earlier, the meeting got, I don't know, Rick rolled or. Or whatever that's called, dude. My I feel so like my neck really hurts. My neck really hurts. Chain. There's so much going on. I, I I'm honestly like literally tired because I've been out. I've been talking to lots of people. We've been working on a lot of things. I was out late last night. What? Did y'all see that? The meeting has just ended. I told you about the I got like Rick Fold earlier. Someone like bombed the meeting. It just happened again. It just happened again. Like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, they honestly may need to do this over. It's 
So I was kicked out of the meeting again. I don't know what's wrong with my mouse right now. Um, anyway, this is what's happening. I'm trying to get back in this meeting now. I'm taking off my jack, dude. In my chain. I'm actually legit, like, not feeling the best right now. <laughs> I think we just went really, really hard lately. Okay, so I just tried to go in the meeting again. Let's see if it works. I don't know what's going on. I'm trying my best. I have no idea what's going on. Like, yeah, so. And normally I'd be completely fine, but for some reason I feel really like hot and bothered for lack of a better term, as far as like, I'm actually pretty like hot and I feel like my head hurts from everything that's been going on. Um, much love everybody. You know what? I'm a, I'm a off. Wow. I'm getting some crazy texts. I'm going to hop off. I love you out all so much. Um, let me see if I can tell them to take us off of Instagram. Um, yeah, I'm just like way too tired right now. So um, I want to see this meeting and go to it, you know, but this is the second time it's, it's been knocked down, which is very curious. It's very curious if you ask me. And there's a lot of issues I want to speak about and I, I, I don't really want to waste my energy um, stalling, if you will, during the meeting. I, I was hoping that, you know, we hear some good stuff from the candidates. They usually save the congressional candidates for last, but they did some of the other races earlier. I don't know. I was confused. Anyway. <laughs> Paper. Yeah. So I was about to give a speech and then now I'm like, I got to rest, man. Yeah. Hey, can you can you take us off of IG? I'm about to end everything. Done? Yeah, the meeting got got canceled again. It, it got uh ended again. No. Yeah. I don't know how. I don't know why. I think maybe the same person hacked in or something. Like the the link doesn't work, and I'm trying to you know. Um, <laughs> yeah and this this is like now it's drawn out i i was can, can you take us off live so i can talk to you yeah. much love to everyone i love you all so much thank you aha pay for yeah i'll be back soon we'll be back soon we're still gonna do some more of vincent the show probably later tonight anyway. So, all right, peace.